Good morning, good morning, G U D Worldwide. We are back at it again, Car Chronicles. Uh, once again, we are on the Alphabet Project. Chuck Grigsby here, uh, representing that G U D Worldwide Project uh, and community-based organization for you. Um, today's uh, letter is X in the Alphabet Project, and the uh, word today is X Factor, which is controversial um, in the Grigsby uh, home because X was today supposed to be for Xander, my son. Um, he begged me to go ahead and uh, share that with you, um, that I had to use the letter X as in Xander Day. Uh, but uh, I decided to over-trump that, and we're gonna go with X as an X Factor. Uh, what do I mean by X Factor? Um, what is it all about? How does it apply to what we're talking about today in a positive way as far as the message is concerned? Your X Factor, and what I mean by that, is your why to what you're about to your why, to your dreams, your why, to your goals, your why to what you're dedicated to in your daily uh, approach to everything that's important to you. That's what I want to talk about today. I want to find out what your X factor is. I want to confirm your X factor. I want you to reevaluate your X factor, or I want you to re-look uh, at how you have justified what your X factor is and possibly make it stronger for yourself personally via this video. So what I want to talk to you about really is how do you formulate an X factor? This is really for the people who um, are really not quite sure, you know, what they're motivated by or, or why it's important to them. Let me break it down for you real quickly. Um, an example of X factor. Uh, so I was a professional fighter for a while. Some of you do know that. And obviously the goal was to win. Obviously the goal was to uh, be safe and, and make somewhat some type of money and, and, and things like that. Uh, but you know, as a fighter, I think that's every fighter's goal um, when it comes to what you are, what you're about. When it comes to going about it, but what makes us special, what makes us unique, is our why. And my why personally was to prove to myself and to others, obviously, that I believed in who I was. Going into Russia, uh, fighting a Russia uh, citizen in front of his Russian president, in front of his Russian crowd, uh, to me. Uh, was a great example of me finding out about my why, put myself through that experience in a way where I really had to re-evaluate, confirm, um, and establish my why to what I'm doing. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm getting kicked in the face, punched in the mouth, uh, elbowed in the in the in the neck. Uh, you know, no matter amount of money or no how badly you want to win it, sometimes I believe for a lot of people that's just not enough for a why. It really is the why you want to have that money, why you want to win that championship belt, why you want to be successful is more important than the outcome. So I really wanted to share that with you. Um, I really also want to help you formulate your why. Um, these are key points in doing that. Real quickly, personality, your beliefs, your goals, your attitude, your age, what you've been affected by as far as trauma, um, your habits, uh, your cultural belief, all these things to help you formulate and reestablish or confirm um, or discover what your why is all about. GUD Worldwide, I wanted to share that with you real quick. I'll end this thing real quickly on a quote. Um, your, a leader's attitude is caught by his or her own followers more quickly than his or her own actions. One more time, real slow. A leader's attitude is caught by his or her own followers more quickly than his or her own, his or her own actions by John Maxwell Arthur. Take it for what it is. I hope this uh, video uh, is something positive that you can attach to your day. And I apologize for the link, but I had to get it all in there. GU Worldwide, Chuck Griggs be coming at you. Two more letters left in the Alphabet Project. Talk to you soon, guys. Have a good one. Good morning, good morning. G